Ever pondered about the most powerful entity in our universe? Let's start this journey by introducing the sun, that fiery celestial body that lights up our world and the most potent entity right in our backyard, the solar system. It's not just a glowing ball of light in the sky, but a thermonuclear blast furnace in a constant state of explosion. Imagine, if you will, the mass of Mount Everest, an awe-inspiring spectacle in itself. Now imagine that mass erupting in a colossal explosion. That's the sun for you, a continuous spectacle of energy and power erupting every single moment. As we continue, let's not forget that our sun is an enormous distance away from us. 93 million miles to be exact. That's about 400 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. It's a vast expanse, a distance so large it's hard to fathom. Yet, the sun's influence is so powerful, so commanding, that it reaches across this unimaginable distance to touch us here on Earth. Now, let's take a moment to think about this. Even at such a staggering distance, the sun's activity significantly impacts our planet. From the warmth that sustains life, to the solar winds that create the beautiful phenomenon of auroras, to the harmful solar flares that can disrupt our technology, the sun's influence is all-encompassing. The sun, in its grandeur and might, is not just a star. It's a superpower, a force to be reckoned with. It's a constant reminder of our place in the universe, of how small we are, and yet how connected we are to the cosmos. So the next time you look up at the sky, remember this. The sun, our star, is not just an entity. It's a powerhouse, a thermonuclear furnace, a universal superpower. And yet, despite its distance, the sun's ripples touch us more than we can ever imagine. So how does this thermonuclear beast influence the universe, you might ask? Well, buckle up because the sun's influence extends far and wide, holding a sway that's nothing short of awe-inspiring. At the heart of our solar system, the sun is like a celestial maestro, conducting an orchestra of planets in a harmonious cosmic dance. Its immense gravitational pull keeps these celestial bodies in check, ensuring they stay in their designated orbits, spinning around it like tops. But its influence isn't just restricted to keeping the solar system in order. The sun is also the ultimate powerhouse, radiating heat and light that are indispensable for life as we know it on Earth. It's like a colossal furnace, endlessly burning, warming our planet and making photosynthesis possible. It's the reason why our planet is teeming with life, from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks. But the sun's influence doesn't stop at the edge of our atmosphere. It reaches out far beyond the furthest planet in our solar system. The sun constantly spews out a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind, which travels at mind-boggling speeds, reaching up to a million miles an hour. This solar wind creates a vast magnetic field, often referred to as the heliosphere, that extends well beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's like a protective bubble, shielding our solar system from high-energy cosmic rays from distant galaxies. The same solar wind also shapes space weather, affecting everything from satellite communications to astronaut safety. It's the reason behind the breathtaking auroras, those dancing lights in the polar skies. And it's also responsible for geomagnetic storms that can disrupt power grids and GPS signals on Earth. So, you see, the sun's influence is far-reaching, radiating through the universe and shaping our existence in countless ways. Indeed, the sun's influence extends far beyond its fiery surface, reaching the farthest corners of our solar system. Have you ever tried to comprehend the enormity of the sun's energy? Just imagine, if you will, a colossal furnace, relentlessly erupting with an energy equivalent to the mass of Mount Everest every single second. That's our sun, an unimaginable powerhouse, tirelessly working to keep the cosmic wheel turning. Now let's put things into perspective. Did you know the sun generates a staggering 380 billion billion megawatts of power? That's a figure so mind-boggling, it's almost beyond human comprehension. By comparison, the largest power station on Earth, China's Three Gorges Dam, produces a mere 22,500 megawatts, a drop in the ocean, wouldn't you say? This colossal energy production isn't all for show, though. It's the lifeblood of our planet, fueling everything from the smallest microorganisms to the most towering trees. The sun's energy is the driving force behind our weather patterns, shaping our climates and making life on Earth possible. It's fascinating, isn't it? How this giant ball of thermonuclear energy millions of miles away can have such a profound impact on our daily lives. It's a constant reminder of our place in the universe and the tremendous forces at play. But let's not forget the sun isn't simply a distant powerhouse. 
It's an integral part of our solar system, a celestial body that has nurtured life on Earth for billions of years. Its energy is not just massive, it's vital. It's not just powerful, it's essential. So the next time you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, remember this. You're experiencing the output of a celestial dynamo, a power so immense it makes our largest power plants seem like children's toys. In the grand scheme of things, our human-made power sources are but a flicker against the sun's fiery might. But what happens when this colossal powerhouse exhausts its fuel? In the grand cosmic ballet, even stars as mighty as our sun must bow out. The sun's energy doesn't come from nowhere. It's the result of a delicate dance of atomic particles, a process known as nuclear fusion. For about 5 billion years, the sun has been burning hydrogen, its main fuel source, into helium. But eventually, it will run out of hydrogen. When that happens, the sun won't just flicker out like a spent candle. Instead, it will undergo a dramatic transformation. It will swell up, becoming a red giant. This isn't your average growth spurt, though. The sun will expand so much that it will engulf Mercury, Venus, and possibly even our home, Earth. The intense heat from the engorged sun will boil away our oceans, rendering our planet uninhabitable. It's a cataclysmic event that will spell the end of life as we know it on Earth. But it's not just our planet that will feel the burn. The entire solar system will be affected by the sun's transformation into a red giant. Yet this isn't the final act in the sun's cosmic dance. Over time, the sun will shed its outer layers, casting them off into space. What remains will be a white dwarf, a dense, hot core about the size of Earth. This white dwarf will glow with residual heat for billions of years before finally fading into a black dwarf. This cataclysmic event is still about 5 billion years away. It's an event so distant in time that it's hard to truly grasp. But it's a part of the life cycle of stars, a natural process in our ever-evolving universe. While the sun's demise might seem like a distant event, it serves as a potent reminder of our place in the universe and the ultimate fate of all stars.